Here in Wales, we've got some of the world's best outdoors and natural environments. And I think they deserve to be celebrated. They need to be understood and protected. So today I'm here at Course Karen National Nature Reserve to meet some of the team and the unsung heroes behind the scene. There are over 70 national nature reserves in Wales. These reserves, like this one here at Cors Caron, and our rivers and lakes are maintained by the amazing staff at Natural Resources Wales. They are the ones who make a difference to the world around us. So we're here at Cors Caron National Nature Reserve on this beautiful Welsh Thursday afternoon. And I'm with Dana from the Life Welsh Raised Bog Project. That's a bit of a mouthful. Thank you very much for having us. It's awesome to be here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming. Um, so, are you going to tell me a bit about the project and show me some of the machinery involved in it, please? Yes, I think we've got the Piston Bully um, Wetland Harvester machine here, so we'll go and have a look. Awesome. Cheers, Dana. So here we are. This is the Wetland Harvester machine. We're going to go and have a sit inside of it now and then I'll talk to you a bit more about the project. Cheers, Dana. So welcome. Cheers, we're in Anna. we're in the uh, piston bully or the wetland harvester machine, um, and we purchased this as part of our Life Welsh Raised Bogs project um, back in March to cut some of the millennia grass that you um, see on Cors Caron yeah. and some of the other sites that we have as part of the project. So the Life Welsh Raised Bogs project started a few years ago, and it's a four-year project. We've had about four and a half million from the EU. Um, and we're hoping to restore um, seven raised bog sites in Wales. Uh, the raised bogs that we're working on are special areas of conservation, so they are very, very special. Um, and that's what we're hoping to do, yes, restore them and um, make them into a more uh, better condition, really. Wow, so what, what, what role does this piston bully play in that project? So this will cut the millennia grass mm. um, and then hopefully open up the areas so that more sphagnum and more important plants can establish and thrive. Oh wow, so, so this is like a mega lawnmower then? It is, yeah, it's like a massive <laughs> monster lawnmower, yes, you're right. <laughs> so with, with regards to the kind of conservation, is, is it the, the biodiversity of the plant life or is it the wildlife? Um, that you're looking to, to, to kind of promote and protect? With the Life Welsh Rose Bogs project, um, the emphasis will be on the habitat and the important plants, so the sphagnum um, yes. that is on the site. That is um, an important um, plant in terms of carbon storage. As it biodegrades, um, it creates peat, yes. and peat is a great carbon store, uh, we all know that. Yeah. And then, so that is the aim of the project in terms of creating more sphagnum, which will hopefully in time create more peat, which will hopefully store more carbon from the environment. I, I hope that people will appreciate um, mm. these places more uh, through the work that I'm doing mm. um, in terms of communicating about them mm. and the work that people like Yestin um, is doing and mm. everybody else within NRW is doing. Yeah. I hope that people will appreciate what we're achieving because we are achieving Absolutely. a lot um, as an organization yeah. um, and I, I, I think and I hope that people will uh, understand that and appreciate that um, in, in the future and I'm sure they will and uh, yeah that, that's my hope is just to increase awareness and raise awareness of what we're yeah. doing um, in the hope to get sort of more support and more um, yeah inspire more people. Yeah, The training for all my expeditions have been forged by the landscapes of Wales. But what I'm equally passionate about are the positive well-being benefits to be had from the outdoors. The open spaces, the sights, sounds and smells can all have a restorative, calming effect on you. There is so much going on in the world today. These spaces have become more important than ever. I kind of take it for granted, but actually it's, it, it's, it's mega to, to, to make this accessible. 
Yeah, it is. Um, boardwalk is hellish expensive and difficult to get out on site, and especially when you put in boardwalk in on bogs. Um, <laughs> and you know, with with the depths of peat that we've got, um, driving in, you know, upright to to stabilise it all. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a fair chunk of work, yeah. and it's all done out here. And usually we try and do it in some of the quietest times in horrible weather like <laughs> we've got today. So uh, yeah, it's a tough old job for for the guys putting that in. Yeah. As, a, as manager of uh, Cos Caron, uh, how, how long have you been working here? I've been uh, working with uh, CCW, now NRW, for uh, nearly 18 years. Um, and I've been involved with the management of Cos Caron for probably 12 years. So it's a hell of an office to have. What, uh, what are your favourite bits of the job? Um, I'm, I'm very lucky in that um, this is just one of the sites that I manage. I've got uh, another eight or nine sites which I manage as well. Um, so um, I've got offices all spread across <laughs> Rekka Beacons and uh, Ceredigion. So um, yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, I probably don't spend as much time as I'd like to be um, mm. out on, on site itself. Um, but um, yeah, it's great. You know, plenty of choice. Um, be it from you know hills, mountains, down to um, coastal sites, sand dunes, and then uh, you know one, one of the biggest sites I've managed is Cos Caron. Over the last eighteen years, how, how have you seen the site change, or, 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 or kind of what are the key milestones in, in the evolution of, of, of the National Nature Reserve? Um, I think you know some of the big things have been the investment we've put into having a, a, a big car park, mm -hmm. um, you know the boardwalks. Um, the money we've put into some of the bog restoration work we've done, but one of the big things I think for the for the next couple of years is going to be this Welsh raised bogs project. Yeah. Um, it's a massive um, boost for the seven sites across Wales. Mm -hmm. Luckily, Coscaron is is one of those sites, and yeah. it's going to get a, a lot of work and taken on it. So um, that's going to be you know really good uh, and exciting project. Now. Yeah, I, I was lucky to uh, to speak with Dana and and see the. Uh, the, the, the piston bully harvester, is, it's, it is a massive project, right? Yeah, massive project, yeah. massive machine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, very impressive. And um, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to um, seeing more of the work that the, the project's going to do yeah. and um, how that's going to improve the site. Uh, so, what we're trying to do is increase the water level up closer to the surface of the bog dome. So these buns um, just stop water from running off the bog dome itself and hold it back and then try and push the water back further up towards the surface. So we're going to be doing a lot of work on, on things like block, blocking old drains. Um, there was a, a, there's a big history of peat cutting here. Um, residents of, of, of Tregaron used to come out and cut the peat and use them for, for fuel. Um, so there's a lot of work on restoring some of those cut over areas. So those are the sorts of things that people are going to see with the project. It's a real, um, it's a real passion job, isn't it? You, you couldn't do this job if you weren't actually passionate about oh, the environment. I, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, it's something I've wanted to do since I um, was quite young, you know, in school. I've, I've always had a passion for being out, outdoors, mm -hmm. be it walking, fishing. Yeah. Um, and it was, um, you know, a fantastic thing to, to go into as a, as a job and never thought I'd be, you know, looking after some of the, the you know, most fantastic sites in, in Wales awesome. and in the UK and, and sometimes the world, you know, yeah. and so it's fantastic, yeah. Do you, do you still love coming to work every morning? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think... Because um, 20 years is a long time to, it, to it be is, in the job. It is, it um, is. But I think, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm lucky that it's it's not the same thing every day. It, it is monotonous. And, mm. and if you do get a bit run down by something, you can always go out on site and um, yeah. get the cobwebs blown away. And, you know, <laughs> Literally. You, yeah, and, and it, it just completely changes your, your outlook on things. And yeah, I, I still enjoy coming to work, yeah, very much. Well, listen, on behalf of somebody that uh, has loved and enjoyed this place uh, and actually kayak from the edge of it down the TV, thank you. Um, I'm really grateful for you and uh, for all the work that NRW do to, uh, to protect our whales and to sustain it and certainly for, for, for my son and, 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 and all our children's future. That's good. Uh, hopefully it'll be here for a, a very long time. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. As an adventure and outdoor activist, I know how important these places are. I also know how important it is to protect and maintain them. So on behalf of all the people in Wales, I want to say a massive thank you to the team at NRW 
for protecting one of the world's best adventure playgrounds and classrooms.